Good morning, good morning, good Friday morning. It's almost afternoon. Nita, you're late. You're usually here much earlier, I know. When I have my regular meetings, I am here at approximately 10 o'clock on the dot, 10, 10.30, maybe even a little earlier. But uh, my schedule is not so on par. So how is everybody doing? How is your week? Um, do you have your coffee and or your water? I have coffee in here. I don't have any water yet, but I'm on my way. I wanted to get this video out because I know somebody's remembering that there's something special to this video, right? My week, let me tell you about my week. Last Saturday, I had some, some kind of stomach problem. Um, I wasn't nauseous. It wasn't that kind. It was acute pain. It was like somebody shot me straight through my belly button. I had never had pain like that before. This week, I, oh, let me go back to say that I recovered in a short amount of time. It was like the most painful thing since childbirth. It was crazy painful. <laughs> this week I had no appetite and I wasn't gonna eat just to eat. Now in a couple instances, I did do just that to have a piece of fruit or something so that my body wasn't gonna be all whack a doodle. I could turn on my computer to pull up a name. So I was like the largest under point wise I was one day was 11 smart points and the smallest was three smart points. So I never even hit my 30 smart points at all this week. And that is just proof that you have to, you have to eat to lose weight you guys because I'm up this week. I am up 1.8 and that's a lot. And I see folks and I hear about folks who aren't on WW who say they're not gonna eat because they need to lose a couple pounds before the big wedding or the big party or the big something or other. They don't want to be so big, right? It doesn't work. You guys have to eat to lose weight. I still don't have that much of an appetite. Like I said, it's late. It is uh, 11.47 and I have only eaten a yogurt. And I don't feel like eating. So I don't know if, if, I, if I am ill, if, if I have something low grade or what's going on, but that's my story. And I am up 1.8 this week. We'll see what happens next week. Now we are also uh, going to pick a name for the paint by numbers. I'm so excited you guys. I have been having such a great time with these. They fill up a lot of great time. They ease my anxiety. I can sit and paint while I listen to some of my favorite YouTubers or television shows or best of all music. So the gal who makes mine, the ones that I purchase, she makes for other people too, <laughs> has offered one. I told you guys if you were interested in having one, what to do in the last video. And now we're going to pick a winner. Feels like we're picking our nose, doesn't it? So let's see. If I do this correctly, I had one of my YouTube pals give me the link. So I'm supposed to click here, start raffle and pick random winner. And let's see who comes up. I put in the URL of the last video. Good luck, everybody. Wasn't it Charles Nelson Riley who would say that on match game? Good luck, everybody. Here we go. It's Sandy! Sandy's the winner! Oh my gosh! She, but, hold on, it says her... <laughs> it says, so cool about the giveaway. Unfortunately, I would never have the patience to do it. Hopefully the right person wins. That's hysterical. Okay, Sandy, you passed! So, it says, pick another winner, okay? Hopefully somebody wants it, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go, ready, and... Uh-oh, what happened? It said pick another winner. Let me get us back to the right place, kids. Okay, I think I got it right this time. Well, I had it right last time, but. All right, here we go and start. Rosemary Lopez. She wrote, quote, paint. Love the way your hubby shares his food with you. <laughs> Rosemary. 
congratulations. Now all I need you to do is email me at my email address in the description box below. Give me an address and the lady who runs the paint by number company, it's called Ellie Cree, which means she creates. She will send you a paint by number. So congratulations, Rosemary. If I don't hear from Rosemary by, let's see, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night, is that enough time? Let's go for Monday night. We'll pick another winner. So congratulations, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. To everybody else who might be interested, I'm going to put the link in my description box where you could go and purchase one yourself. I guarantee you they're beautiful. I think I've shown them all to you and uh, I can't wait to put, I'm gonna have a big gallery of quarantine in here. So, okay, congratulations, congratulations, Rosemary Lopez, and uh, we'll start this week. Hope it's better than last week. It's a little warm. Hey, happy 4th of July tomorrow. I don't know what everybody's going to do. We're closed down here, so we're not going to be doing anything, but uh, maybe we'll throw a steak on the Barbie or something to that effect. All right, so... Oh, two things I need to add. I didn't drink enough water, even though I always had it with me. I didn't drink enough because I just didn't feel like consuming anything. It's just odd. And I didn't walk. So I have those two things going against me. See, folks, if we keep track, we'll know what's going on. All right. Have a great day. Have a great 4th of July. I'll see you on my next video. Congratulations, Rosemary Lopez.